Nikki. Whoop whoop. One time. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get to know my father, Dominic Farshoni, Detective 3, Los Angeles Police Department, retired. It's the old guy in the middle. As you can imagine, being a cop's kid was not easy, but my father taught us to love laughter, imparted wisdom, and was incredibly kind to those who needed help. My brother Sean, this guy on the left, actually had a love of frogs when he was very young. Unfortunately, one day he decided to give his frog a kiss. Mm -hmm. He did not know it was a toad. Oh. My brother proceeded to foam at the mouth, came running home, scared everybody in the house half to death. To this day, he gets toads on his birthday and Christmas every year to commemorate that occasion. <laughs> My other brother here on the right, Tony, also had some wonderful experiences with my father. Tony got in trouble with the law in Ventura County when he was about 18 years old and was subsequently taken to jail for the evening. Of course, the phone call he made did not go to my house, nor to my parents. He showed up the next morning, explaining to my father some elaborate tale of what he had been doing and why he wasn't home all night. My dad finally looked at him and said, stop blowing hot air. I got a courtesy call from Venturi County to let me know that they had my son in custody. <laughs> to this day, my brother Tony gets varying degrees of blowfish <laughs> for Christmas and his birthday. My most favorite being the taxidermy one that was on a plaque with his name on it. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this brings us to the wisdom point of my father. <laughs> my action prompted my father to give me specific words of wisdom. He told me that I would have to jump through hoops, go over hurdles in order to succeed in life. Of course, I became a criminal later on in my life, so he added to that later on by telling me that I might want to equip myself with a ladder, a grappling hook, or find a legal detour in order to overcome those hurdles. His kindness was also involved in a lot of courage. My dad was a Colombian drug expert, a liaison with the FBI. He arrested a Colombian drug lord. Um, I came home one day from school, and there was a large group of men sitting at the table. The discussion at this table was the fact that the district attorney and the federal prosecutor wanted to prosecute the wife of this criminal. This discussion at this table involved my father writing a letter telling the DA and the federal prosecutor in no uncertain terms that he would stand and testify on this woman's behalf, that he would put his reputation on the line and his job on the line. And hence, he was going to risk his job and our family's financial future. So I've given you three examples of the reasons why I admire my father, Dominic Farshoni. His humor, which he has taught me, has sustained me throughout my life. His wisdom that he custom made just for me and my personality and his determination to protect show and show kindness to those who are innocent and cannot protect themselves.